What's up peeps, it's uh, Whoopi here from Welsh Gaming and welcome to a quick video. In this video, we're going to be installing a SSD. This is a 240 gigabyte SSD. And the only tools you need is a screwdriver. So let's get going. Okay, so um, if you're used to uh, taking the old uh, Asus computer apart first, get to the top, you need to pull off the top row, which is simple enough, there's a uh, gap here. Just simply pull off the top row and in the top in hole right over there is going to be the first screw keep the uh, keep the screw set I turn the computer completely up and just by the, the warranty sticker right over there is the, the next screw get it, get it. okay once you've done that you want to lay the computer flat like that so you can see the uh, stickers and the logo and then grab it like that let me just bring the old camera down a bit more okay so grab the machine and all you need to do is actually just slide it to the left so just grab it and click it to the left should you hear a click noise and the lid's off lift above get your two wires here and unplug these these for the uh, the lights within the uh, within that so case itself which is along basically a long bit okay. set that aside okay so the SSD itself which I'll take out the bag to prove that this is a this is a brand new SSD There you go. Scan this. And the SSD is going to fit this, depart this uh, compartment right by you. Okay, once you get this stage, this is the next part you're going to have to do. You're going to have to take off this brace bar right by you. So there's two screws. Take off the two screws either side. Take off that screw. This one here. Lift up this brace bar. To one side. Next thing we need to do is remove the actual cooler fans itself. So there's two screws. So one on each side. One, one on this side and one on this side. Take the two screws out. And... Okay. This plastic strip here you can actually remove. It's only a plastic like um, sticky tape which which covers a couple of holes uh, with these fans you can actually lift these fans upwards I'll be careful there's two wires underneath just pull those plugs out from the motherboard itself so you have your fans I'll show you the two slots and that's the two pins there okay that's what supply the power you need to remove the optical drive which is what's big here and to remove the optical drive it's one screw and it's right by there at the end the optical drive remove that screw remove the optical drive and there'll be two two little SATA port plugs in it pull these out so, like that and this DVD drive should so just push straight up so just push it and there you go there's the slim optical drive you want out next thing you need to do come on to the front to the main part here you need to remove the screws those screws will be included one on this side one on that side and one on the top i've already removed the screws i've removed this many times so eventually just remove the cover you're gonna have to get you have to take out the uh the gpu next so it'd be two screws either side there and there take these out and um, i'll show you why in a second it's important because otherwise you can't uh, plug in the power so I lift this straight up okay there's your uh, graphics card whatever graphics card you're in there 
and just in the there you will have in your box a very 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 short uh, set of sort of set of cable now the set of cable plugs it into the monitor so right in the right in the corner there there right by there is a set of hole Okay, so there you are so far. I've actually removed the, um, I have to remove the CPU cooler, and I've had to remove the, um, to remove the up to try it out the way. So when you get chance to be here, uh, you can have a chance, you can have a look at uh, maybe changing the battery. You've got the Wi-Fi connection there, and also you've got another power cable in the corner. Okay, so um, when we're at this stage, you've got your optical drive and that to try where it's going Look at the uh, look at the power leads. We get a chance at this stage. Okay, so uh, basically you got the connectors into place. So, uh, I've taken the entire tray out to push the push the tray back into into place. So. Okay, once you put the um, put the tray back in the place as it's rated. So basically this entire compartment is just basically pull out to get your uh, CPU cooler again and actually put the CPU cooler back onto it. So I'm going to have to put it in backwards. So always Go from corner to corner to corner when uh, putting the super back on. You can put a uh, fresh, have a fresh. Uh, uh, silver onto the uh, CPU uh, if you feel that you uh, need to. It's always recommended to actually put more on. Uh, I ain't too bad. I've, I've changed it a few times and it's been it's been okay so far. So. Uh, I've done this just for I've just done this as a short video. Okay, so okay, once it's all done, next step is to get your optical drive again, and we're going to put it back into the into the tray into the tray underneath. So slide the optical drive in there, put the screw back into the hole for there. Once that screws back in, connect the plugs back into the into the drive. Then you need to put the bar back over over the section. So grab the uh, small bar, which is this one. It should um, should not really go one way uh, when you hook it back on. Don't do what I did and um, put it on uh, put it on backwards because uh, if 
if I put on backwards, it, the case won't close itself. Fans itself, give you two power connectors. Um, one connector will only fit for one plug, so uh, you can't uh, you can't go wrong when plugging them back in. They're completely different sizes, so just. back on top and then put the two screws back in put in screw. now you might find your SDC just slightly loose there's a, a screw mark here and if you put a screw into there it will actually physically push the drive down so you can't put a screw there and it'll stop that from uh, rattling itself make sure that you pick up make sure this yellow clip is in and it's pushed like that downwards not stood up it's got to be down get your two lighting connectors with the extra case lights grab your Make sure it's any wise at all, it's not in the way. Drop this down into your computer. Push it into place. Then get your next two screws and screw the drop case down. Don't forget your strip which goes just under there. Don't forget to put the strip which goes. There goes the strip, and that just basically uh, doesn't allow any of the air uh, to skip just allows the air flow to go see up the back the top Grab your uh, back panel and you need to put that back onto the computer itself. Don't forget to put the, two, the three screws in one, two, and three. I'm not going to bother just for the moment. Grab your, your top case again and hook up the plugs. They will have um, marked as a number one and number one will be on there. Be very gentle with these, they break very easy. Uh, I've broken sort of mine already, so uh, be careful if you enjoy your lights on the case. Then uh, take extra care, be a bit gentle. Then light line your case up, uh, make sure the wires don't get caught within the fan cell. Put the case back on, you then want to. Slide it to the right as much as possible. Okay, and once it's across, then we're going to put the, the screws back in. Bottom, a 
Well, that is it. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Let me put it down. And that is how you install an SSD into the Zeus computer. It's definitely not easy and um, it can be a little bit tricky, but with a bit of patience, you can do it. So, um, what I'll do in my next video, I'll show how to install a operating system, how to pick up the SSD, uh, install, and we'll do some benchmarks on speed and several calls. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.